الحمد للہ الحمد للہ وقفا و سلام علی عباد الدین اصطفیٰ اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم من قتل نفسا بغیر نفس او فساد فی الارض فکأنما قتل الناس جمیعا ومن احیاها فکأنما احیا الناس جمیعا صدق اللہ العظیم Honorable guests, distinguished scholars, respected elders and my dear brothers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is very blessed gathering which is being telecast worldwide. I am really privileged and humbled to be amongst you to deliver a speech on the topic of terrorism and Islam. Before I begin my speech, I would like to tell a few words about Tahrik e Sunni Dawat Islami. Sunni Dawat Islami is an international and purely religious organization which has been reviving the dead hearts of millions of people worldwide under the leadership of Dai Kabir Huzur Amir e Sunni Dawat Islami. Sunni Dawat Islami propagates the true beliefs and creeds of Ahl Sunnat wal Jamaat. It has inspired millions of people of worldwide to become a true and practicing Muslim. It encourages people to become a true and humble devotee to beloved Prophet Wasallam and follow his every sunnah. The audience, I recited the verse of the Holy Quran from Surah Maida. Allah Taala says in the Holy Quran, Man qatala nafsam bighayri nafsin aw fasadin fil ard فَكَأَنَّمَا قَتَلَ النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا وَمَنْ أَحْيَاهَا فَكَأَنَّمَا أَحْيَا النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا Which means, whosoever kills an innocent soul and creates disorder in the earth as if he has killed whole mankind and one who saves a soul as if he has saved whole mankind. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُعَذِّبُ الَّذِينَ يُعَذِّبُونَ النَّاسَ فِي الدُّنْيَا Indeed, Allah will give punishment those who trouble people in the world. The audience, the people who label the terrorism with Islam, they should think that who started the first world war? Not Muslims. Who started the second world war? Not Muslims. Who killed six million Jews in the Holocaust? Not Muslims. Who killed about 20 million Aborigines in Australia? Not Muslims. Who killed more than 100 million of um, Indian people in North America, not Muslims, who sent the nuclear bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, not Muslims, who killed more than 50 million of Indians in South America, not Muslims, who took about 180 million of African people as slaves, and 88% of them died and were thrown overboard into Atlantic Ocean, not Muslims. So first of all, you will have to define the terrorism properly, if a non-Muslim does something bad, it is crime. But if a Muslim commits the same, he is a terrorist. So first remove your this double standard. The religion which, doesn't, which considers killing an innocent soul as killing whole mankind in humanity and saving a soul as saving whole mankind, will it be appropriate to label the terrorism to its name? First of all, I would like to say that Islam is a religion of peace. I would justify it that a religion which considers, which doesn't allow to misuse the water, how could it possible that it permit you to kill in a natural creature? The audience, Islam is the religion of peace and harmony. Islam always teaches the lesson of love and unity. Present day, many people say that Islam teaches terror. I say they are ignorant because Islam is against the Against the terrorism, it's against bloodshed. Behind the veil of religion, some people say that Islam allows jihad. Actually, they are not aware of the meaning of jihad. They simply mean that jihad is killing people. But they are in darkness. Jihad means to fight with her inner evil. Jihad means to strive, 
to struggle to reach up to Allah Almighty, you have to find yourself, you need to find out that who are you, only then you can find Islam. Islam means peace. Think carefully. I said Islam is a religion which doesn't allow to misuse the water. How can it allow for shedding blood of innocent people? I mean, a terrorist doesn't have any religion. They all are the Nullifidian. The audience, it is not right to call them Muslim, Hindus, Buddhists, etc. If I call them Muslim, it is insult of all Muslims. If I call them Hindus, it is insult of all Hindus. If I call them Christian, it is insult of all Christians. If I call them human, it, in, it is insult to the whole humanity. If, even if I call them animal, it would be insulting all animals because animals hunt when they need, they don't hunt any innocent creature. The audience, Allah Taala says in the Holy Quran, Inna dina in the Allahil Islam. The true religion in the sight of Allah is Islam, then how can it teach terror? Present day, many people say that Islam is included with terror. But think, what is the attachment of Islam and terrorism? What is the enmity between Islam and terrorism? Remember, as the earth is far from the sky, the day is part from the night, the education different from the illiteracy, in the same way, there is no any enmity between Islam and terrorism. Islam is against the terrorism. Listen, all you who think that Islam gives shelter to terrorism, it is your madness to think that Islam is doing so. Islam is the religion of peace. Islam is the religion which teaches love. Islam is the religion which teaches unity. Islam is the religion which teaches gentleness. Islam gives goblet of love to human beings. Islam prohibits from the scurrility. This is the reason the Islam is everywhere in the world. Wherever you go, you will find the Islam. Do you know why? Because Islam is the religion of unity. Islam is not the source of terrorism, but it is solution. What? Islam is not the source of terrorism, but Islam is only for solution. Dear friends, many world leaders, leading media organization, television and radio stations, told their own people that Islam forbids violence and commands peace between people and nation. In the Quran noted clearly that the word of Islam and terror cannot stand side by side and divine religions by no means permit violence. Islam follow what Allah Almighty say in the holy book, but present day Muslims are being blamed. The Muslims are terrorists, remember, Muslims follow the Quran and does what holy book say. And the holy Quran never talks about terror. In the Quran, Allah Taala said, Man qatala nafsan bi ghayri nafsin aw fasadin fil ard, fa ka'annama qatala nasa jamia. Whosoever kills an innocent soul and creates disorder in the earth as if he has killed whole mankind, woman ahyaha fa ka'annama ahyan nasa jamia, and one who saves a soul as if he has saved whole mankind. Dear friends, on the occasion of Makkah's victory, the Prophet, Holy, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam forgave his dead least enemies who had killed his uncle just to establish peace. This is what Islam teaches. This proves that Islam nothing has to do with terrorism. Islam has come to eliminate the terrorism and establish peace. And with this sentence, I conclude my speech. وآخر دعوانا للحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم